Yo, 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 welcome back to the Further Your Lifestyle podcast. My name's Chris Felling. I am your host. And if you're new here, this podcast is all about conversations on lifestyle, passion, and hustles. I'm so excited to have you here. This is episode number seven. And what we are talking about today is something a little different. And what I want to do is take you through an approach or an exercise which will enable you to release and actualize a greater you. And it's a short and sharp, I guess, process or steps that you can take to make this happen. And we're going to go through that today. So before we do that, let's just kind of recap. We are on Spotify. We are on Apple's podcast. We are on the YouTube. So you can listen and watch and do however you like. Now, if you are watching this one, or sorry, if you are listening to this one and not watching this one, there will be some additional material on the YouTube version. However, if you are listening, I will be talking you through it. I will be taking you through it. And what I do suggest is that you sit back and relax, grab some paper, pen and paper or whatever floats your boat. You can be doing it on an iPad or on your phone, but we will be going through some exercises that will help you realize or help you release and actualize a greater you this year. Now, I will say, if you do hear some weird noises or something in the background, that is because I (laughs) have some frogs out my window just because where I am doing this, and they do like to make some appearances or noises late in the evening. So, I do apologize in advance if you do hear it. If you don't hear anything, well, you can just ignore this completely. All right, so let's, let's, let's get into it. So, how can you become a greater you? Well... I've identified three key points which I believe it will help you achieve your greatest year possible. Now, it doesn't have to be about, you know, this single year. It doesn't have to be about, you know, you know, 2021. This can be around any period that you like. But the process that we're going to go through, you can apply it to shorter periods or longer periods or however you like. So you can pick this up and take it and use it whenever you want. It doesn't have to be for 2021 or this year as such. Now, if you are watching on the YouTube at this point, I am looking at multiple cameras. You're probably getting a few different angles. So I have, I am trying out a new setup just to see how it's working, what's happening. So if you are watching on the YouTube, you will be experiencing that. If you're on the Spotify, if you're on um, Apple Podcasts or wherever you're listening, I do encourage you to check out the YouTube version of this sometime because you will get that extra experience. Anyway, I digress. Let's continue on. So point number one. What this is called is identify the something. Now, (laughs) your year or this year or whatever it can be um, will be whatever you make it to be, right? So whether you putting in a lot of time or not putting in any time, you are going to get an outcome which will be a result of what you did. Now, obviously, that can be taken a little harshly, but it is, you know, that, that's essentially what's going to happen. You know, if you have a goal to do something, the work that you put in towards that goal, well, then you're more likely to achieve that goal, which means you'll get an outcome closer to that expectation. Of course, I want this year or, you know, this period that you're going to apply this to, to, to be the year or the period where you become greater and you're going to have to follow these steps. So coming back to number one, so you need to define what that something looks like. If it is a single goal, if it is a lifestyle, if it's a big change, if it's a habit, if it's a routine, whatever it is, you need to clearly identify what you will measure as a success as this year. So having an idea of what that possibly could look like. So will it mean losing weight? Will it mean a career change? Will it mean, uh, you know, studying smarter and not just harder? Will it mean you know, plan to save up for your first home deposit? Will it mean to invest differently? Will it mean to make sure that you can save up or budget for that family vacation? Whether it is one of these or none of these or something completely different or a combination of all these, whatever your plan is or whatever your goal is or your mission for this year or period, you will need to be the one to kickstart it right? And you need to be the one to define it. That's just as simple as it is. You need to own it and you need to make it yours and you need to make it clear for yourself. So that's, that's the first part, right? You need to identify the something. So if you can just take a moment and write down what that is going to be. Now you can go broad, you can do multiple, but let's just focus on one thing. You know, is it, you know, a bit of a personal side note. So I'm doing a bit of a, uh, a challenge to myself to see if I can make 
$100,000 in revenue reselling online. And that was a goal for me for 2021. So, you know, I have a bunch of milestones. I have a number of different things in place to keep me honest, to keep me on track and to help me achieve that or progress towards that. So think about that. It can be around something job related. It could be around some money. It could be just some goals around fitness or weight. It could be building relationships. It could be learning a new skill or a new instrument. Whatever it is, own it. Make it yours and make it clear to yourself. So jot it down right now. Point number two, take tangible action. All right, so now that you've identified that something, right, you've got it written it down, um, that's something that you're going to be working towards. It is now time to take the action. So none of this, I'm going to start tomorrow, or, you know, I can do it tomorrow, or I'll worry about that later. But you need to have that real, I guess, hardcore rise and grind determination of, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start this right now and take action right now. So one thing about action is, you know, we can we can say, okay, yep, I'm going to do that on Monday, which is great. But if you can do something today and you don't have anything else which is planned, then do it when you can do it, right? So if you want results this year, you need to be in it for the full year or you need it to be in it for the full period, whatever your period is. You need to be willing to provide the appropriate inputs each day and every day uh, regardless if you are failing or if you're succeeding. Action will always speak louder than words. And the key thing here is progress is progress. It's not every day. It doesn't mean you're going to have the best result or the best outcome. But if you're not taking action to progress, then you won't be able to succeed in that longer period of time. All right. So if you're struggling on how you can take action, well, I have some steps for you of what you can follow. So let's let's go through them. Make sure you grab your pen or, you know, if you're doing it on your iPad or phone or whatever, get ready to jot this down. Of course, I will have a level of this in the show notes as well. So, so point number one is identify five goals, and these can be anything for this year or period. Write them down, write down five. Now I know before above, I told you to write down one. Now I'm getting you to do five. It might be towards the same goal, or it might be multiple goals, but whatever they are, what's ever coming to mind, jot them down, five goals. Okay, so an example for me, it could be, um, if I wanna do $100,000 in revenue this year, that's gonna be at the top, and then I might say, I wanna be able to sell this much per day, or I wanna be able to list this much on eBay per day, or I wanna be able to do X, or I wanna be able to do Y, so break it down, okay? Point number two, or step number two, Step number two is take these five goals and take five sheets of paper, okay? And this is what you are going to do. You're going to write out one to 20 on each of those paper, okay? Do that. Take that action. Do that right now. (laughs) And then point number three or step number three. Step number three. Now, for each of those goals, you're going to write out a list of 20 things. You've got the one to 20 that you must do in order to complete this goal. Force yourself to write it. Do it. Okay. You need to jot it down. Now, it it can be very detailed or it doesn't have to be. So, So if one of the goals was to actually, you know, I want to be able to list 20 items on eBay per day, right? So if you're going to jot down 20 things to make this goal successful, you need to think about, well, what are the elements or what are the things that are going to be driving this? So you need to be thinking about, well, what does that ever mean? Do you need to have a template in place? You need to have access to a computer. You need to be able to do this, um, you know, with the items with you. Jot down the 20 things that are going to make this as easy as possible and will enable you to achieve it. Okay, so now once you've done that, Step number four now is once you have done this for the five goals, identify five items you have listed for each goal that you can take action on immediately. Okay, let me say that again. You've got f- you've got the five goals listed out with 20 steps that you can do. Of those five goals, identify five items you have listed for each goal and you're going to take action on them immediately. List them out, circle them, highlight them, whatever it is. Okay. And then point number five or step number five is you're going to take these five items and act on them now, literally today. You're going to kick them off in the motions. You're going to make these goals start to, you know, progress. Okay. You need to do this today. 
Now, I understand that you're probably thinking, Chris, this is not what I signed up for. I'm here to listen to a podcast. Well, okay, that's fine. But seriously, you need to think about, can you block out 30 minutes to see if you can take some action on this, even if it means jotting out some to-do lists or whatever it may be. The key thing is here is what can you do today to start progressing? Because a lot of us will say, okay, these are the things I need to do. I can start tomorrow. Well, if there's something that you can start today, why wouldn't you start today? Why can't you just carve out some time and make it happen? Of course, if you can't start them today, find something that you can start today. It's the whole point of it, right? <laughs> okay, so once you've completed these five actions or these five steps or these five points, you work on the next, okay? You need to work on the next five. You work on the next five. You work on the next five until you get to that 20. Prepare yourself. Okay, because you're going to be the greatest you in no time. And I know this sounds maybe cliche. Some of you are thinking, ha, does this even work? But it is a bit of an overwhelming process. But I think at the end of the day, when you think about when we are trying to achieve anything, a lot of the time we think of that big goal, that big achievement that we want, you know, whether it is that $100,000 of revenue or we want to be, you know, 25 kilos lighter. The problem is, though, we don't think about the friction points. We don't think about the steps, the effort, the time and blood, sweat and tears that it's going to take to get there in between. Now, breaking it down into chunks of milestones, breaking it down into, well, how do I even start to exercise or how do I even start to lose weight? Well, I need to go to the gym. I need to be able to have a routine to go to the gym. I need to be able to go to the gym and then, you know, follow some steps or some exercises to be able to start working out. So you need to have those exercises in place. The key here is you want to make your actions to get closer to your goals as easy as possible. Not meaning they will be easy, but you want to remove the friction points. If you want to go out and exercise, you want to make it as easy as possible. So sometimes people getting into the routine of running or getting into the gym, you know, if they're going to do that in the morning before work, what you could do is make sure you have your clothes out before you go to sleep for that night, right? So then when you wake up in the morning, you've got everything there ready to go. You can just get changed and make it happen. So that, that's just an example, right? But I, I think this is making sense, right? Um, so the key here is to st start before you're even ready to begin, right? Because a lot of the time we think, okay, I'm going to do this. This is what I want to do, as I mentioned. And we, we keep pushing it out. We keep pushing it out for later. We don't want to do that. The perfect time will never be ready, right? You know, it, it, the best time to start is now. If you want it to be perfect, that's never going to happen. And it's when you take action, it's when you actually do something about it, that's when the magic will start to happen. So you need to get out there and you need to make it happen. Now, there's a quote um, by Albert Hubbard, I think his name is. I do apologize if I've said that wrong, but the greatest mistake you can make in life is to be continually fearing you will make one, right? Yes, we're all going to make mistakes, but if you're too worried that you're going to make a mistake so you don't do it in the first place, well, you're never going to grow. You're never going to be able to get out of your comfort zone and build those next level growth areas into your life, okay? So then the third area that I want to touch on in this three kind of step process that I mentioned at the start of the podcast episode is evaluate the result. And this one is just as important as point one and point two. Okay, super important. As you embark on your journey, you know, as you, you know, progressing with your goals, you need to ensure that you're checking in with your progress. Either you can set some sort of a milestone checkpoint, whether it's weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, depending on your period, right? But you need to be checking in to see your progress and how you're progressing overall to your completion of your goals. Right, you can break your goals into smaller goals, which you probably have already across the year, and you know, to meet a planned progress in which you enable you to meet your final destination, right? And we, we touched on that briefly, breaking it down into the steps, into milestones, or what you want to be able to do. So one example, a way that you can do this is on a month-to-month -month review. Diving into a month review each month and you know. As you complete that month, you're evaluating how you have progressed. You're looking back on the lessons, the mistakes, the problem areas, the wins, the things that did work, the things that didn't work. If you've got some data points, being able to track data points. And this is where you can start to see what's working, what's not, and you can start to reevaluate 
pivot and take action to do it better for the next month, right? So to do this, you can break your month or that whatever the period is that you're doing it. We're talking about a month at this for this example. And you want to break it up into three categories, right? But be sure to block out some, you know, time and distraction-free time to make this happen. Obviously, you're not doing this now, but you need to block the time out so you're not going to be distracted. And all right, so you're going to have to grab a pen and some paper to do this. You don't have to do it right now, but I mean, if you want to follow along, you can as an example, but when you do it, you will need it, okay? So, and you're going to try the below three categories. What went well this month? Example, did you meet your milestones? Uh, did you succeed with what you had planned to do? Are you making progress? What have you achieved? So you want to know what went well, okay? And this will be different for everyone, so you need to have a think about it, but that's just some examples. And then the next one is what didn't go well? What what didn't go as planned, okay? So what have you struggled with? What was a friction point? Uh, what, you know, are you meet, what, where are you not meeting milestones? Or are you lacking motivation? What isn't working? Identify these. And these can just be dot points as well. And then the third thing is, or the third category as such is, what am I working towards next month, right? So it might be, what will you do to get back on track? Or what steps can you take to fix this issue? Or how can I regain motivation? Or uh, what are the next milestones I need to be doing to get back on track or just to continue on, okay? So these are some really tangible examples. They will be different for everyone once again, but following those categories of what went well, what didn't work, and what am I working towards next month, these things will help you springboard to the next month, you know, with, with flying colors, I reckon, because one, you're going to know what's working. So you want to do more of that, but what's not working, you want to remove that, but make sure you're fixing those, whether it's how you're going to be working towards it next month, or you just need to be working towards, you know, getting into a better position and how you are likely to do that. Okay. So there you have it. That That's essentially the three key points and actions you can take this year or this period or this month or whatever it is to have your best year yet, right? And to really achieve a greater you and actualize it or release a greater you. But you got to remember and bringing it straight back to the start is none of this is possible if you do not take action and set out and embark on this journey. Because if you're just thinking about it, if you're just writing it down and not actually doing anything about it, things are not going to change. You know, it's, I can harp on this for a while and I get it. I really do get it. So I really want you to take away from this is, you know, has something stuck to you here? Is there something here which you think, Hey, this could work for me. And there's a lot there, you know, writing out 20 items for the five goals. It, it's a lot of work. However, break it down smaller, start smaller, see what you can do. Okay. And I would love to hear your feedback, your thoughts, difference of opinions, and, you know, if you've got some success stories or if you've got ways that you do this yourself, let me know in the comments below or reach out on the, on the socials and I would love to hear about your goals and your visions and what's working and what's not. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we're not just letting your dreams be dreams. We want to make sure that they're, 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 they're coming through, that they're becoming a reality and you are making them happen. I'm going to finish with this. This year or this period or this month or whatever time allocation you were giving this, let's just say this year. This year can be and will be anything and everything, but it will require the core input of one very thing. Your action. That's it. So I really do appreciate you being here. Um, it's It's been an absolute pleasure to be able to talk and share, and I hope there has been some value here. I will go ahead and put some of this information in the show notes below. And of course, if you want to reach out or if you need a bit more help or you want to clarify a few things, well then of course, reach out, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to help because at the end of the day, I want to be here to support, to help and see you grow and reach those dreams, goals, and, and passions and ambitions. And of course, to further your lifestyle. That's what we're all about. That's what I want to see you guys achieve and that's what we're trying to achieve here on the podcast. Okay, so really do appreciate you being here. And uh, as I said, you know, if this is something that you think is of value for yourself, or you think maybe someone else could benefit from this, please do share it. I would appreciate that greatly. My name's Chris Freeling. I'm the host of the Feather Your Lifestyle podcast. It's been an absolute pleasure being here tonight. 
And I just want to say a big thank you for all the support, all the love, all the encouragement. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you along for the ride so far and look forward to continuing on. So I hope you have a lovely day, a lovely evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and I will see you in the next one. All right, ciao.